Hey guys, Harsh here, back in the video. So in this video, I'll be showing you how you can connect the HCSR04 ultrasonic sonar sensor with ESP32 module and get the readings in centimeters on the serial monitor. And I'm just using the serial monitor because that this is just a basic project on how you can get started with the ESP32 module and the HCSR04 sensor. So without wasting time, let's get started. Okay, so for this, obviously we will need our ESP32 module as you can see. And this is the ESP32 W room 32 module then we will need our HCSR04 sensor this is the ultrasonic sensor with, and then to connect it all we will need breadboard and some jumper wire so now let's see how we can connect it to the board so first we will place our board on the breadboard and this is just a simple set, set up. and this is just and this is just a simple step of placing it onto the breadboard just like so and I am only using this particular row over here so this row doesn't matter if it's in the breadboard or not now let's connect our power so first we'll connect the 3.3 volts and we'll connect it to the VCC on the sonar sensor so here it is as you can see VCC will connect it over here then we'll connect the ground which is right next to the 3.3 volts and we'll connect it to the ground on the sonar sensor then as you can see on the sonar sensor we have two more pins which is echo and trigger so we will connect the echo pin to pin number D2 on the ESP32 module so it is right over here right next to the ground and D15 pin so we will just connect it to D2 over here and then we will connect the D4 pin to the trigger pin on the HCSR04 sensor just like so so as you can see now our sonar sensor and ESP32 are connected and if you are unable to follow this connection then don't worry I have uploaded the circuit diagram and the code in the description so you can check that out. So now let's go ahead and connect it to the computer and program it. Okay so before we do anything further first we need to make sure that our Arduino IDE is capable of programming the ESP32 board. So first of all what you have to do is just copy this link I have given it in the description then what you have to do is just go to files then click on preferences so here you will find the additional board manager URL and you have to paste your link here just like so I have done over here but uh, let's say if you have uh, additional link then you can just uh, place a comma and then paste the link so as you can see I have put a comma right over here so this is my ESP8266 package that I have installed previously and then I put a comma then pasted the link for the ESP32 package so after that you can just go ahead and click on OK then head over to tools and go to the boards and select the board managers so this little window will open up and it will update the boards manager so on the search bar on the top you have to type in ESP32 so this will show up and all you have to do is just click on the install button as you can see I have already installed it so that's why I am not getting the install option but uh, it will just show up right here so once that is installed you can go ahead and close it and restart your Arduino IDE Okay, so here is the code that will upload on the ESP32 board and as you can see here we have installed the wire.h library. You don't need to install this externally, it just uh, comes with the Arduino IDE. Then here you can see we have defined the echo pin and the trigger pin to pin number 2 and pin number 4. Obviously if you are using different sort of pin or if these pins are unavailable then you can obviously change them directly over here. Then here we are just defining two variables duration and distance. Then in the setup function we are initializing the serial monitor with the 9600 baud rate and then we are setting the pin modes for trigger pin it will be output and for echo pin it will be input. Then in the loop function if you see these lines over here I am just going to summarize them what they do. So basically the trigger pin will send a signal and when then signal reflects back and comes back to the sensor the time and the duration is calculated that is then put into this formula which is derived from the speed of sound so that's how we know how much the distance is traveled by the wave so the wave goes then it comes back it is two times the distance so it is divided by the speed of sound and then we finally get the distance that we want to measure and we will just store it in a variable like this one then in the serial.print option as you can see first we will print distance the word itself and then we will print the actual distance and then we'll write the unit of it so it will be in centimeter obviously if you want to get it in meters or whatever so just uh, 
change the formula over here so let's say if you want to change it to meters then you can just uh, divide the whole equation by 100 then you will get the meters distance so once that's all done now we can go ahead and go to tools select our board which is the ESP32 dev module in my case and the com port is communication port 5 and all the other things are pre-selected you don't need to change anything in them so just close that and then hit on upload the code so as always it will first compile the sketch and then upload to the board so now as you can see it says done uploading so we can go ahead and open the serial monitor and you can do that just by going to tools and hitting on the serial monitor over here or you can hit this button over here that will also open the serial monitor so we'll just do that now for some reason you might get some gibberish over here as you can see so this happens due to the mismatch in the baud rates so as you can see my serial begin baud rate over here is 9600 but on my serial monitor it is set at something other than 9600 so all you have to do is just click on the drop down arrow and select your right baud rate which is 9600 and once you do that as you can see now we are getting the expected output so let me just hover my hand over the sensor and as you can see the distance changes so let me just go closer to the sensor and as you can see the distance is not decreasing so let me just move further away and you can see the distance increases so that's how you know your sensor is working fine and you have successfully done this project so thanks for this video guys hopefully this video was helpful for you and if you have any doubts regarding this video you can comment down below i will try to answer them as soon as possible so until then i will see you all later